Hi everyone, let's talk about Villagers Shifting Seasons. New expansions on Kickstarter right now. I just finished a great big two-player playthrough with all of the brand new stuff in it. If you'd like to see it in action rather than just laid out here, this video is just what I think of it. If you are interested in that, bear in mind, you know, you can see my track record with uh, Villagers from its original. I really, really, really loved Villagers and uh, I was paid to make the playthrough for the Kickstarter. Uh, yeah, you can see all of that linked in the description and stuff. So... Yes, as I said, you can go back and see my original video from a few years ago now. Just being effusive about how much I love this game. I love the the simplicity of the drafting and then building phases and building up these lovely interlocking production chains with their, you know, it, it's great anyway that you're overlapping them and branching them off and seeing what can be combined with what. It's all very apparent. It's all very easy to see. You know, it's laid out you know, what you, you're going to need on top of this. You know, if, if it needs loads of links in the chain, how likely is that going to be to happen? Should you put all your energy into it? Should you try and um, get loads of different things going on? Uh, and then the padlock system as well is great for, you know, increasing your own things, for wanting to have these people that might not be so useful, but are going to be great at, like, the blacksmith unlocks 10 different things, is going to probably earn you some income over the course of the game. And having all of this stuff, you know, it's all very beautifully laid out. It's it's absolutely lovely artwork, and, yeah, the kind of uh, simplicity of the layout is makes everything really apparent straight away so you saw me say all of that in the old villagers video though i love this it's so quick playing but so thoughtful and so beautiful and shifting seasons is just basically more of all of that uh it's uh, a, a whole new deck that you can add in so it, it's it makes the game a bit longer like a turn longer or something uh, on average i think it says in the rules so it adds in there a load of new special villagers that do pretty crazy things like a villager that can be the starting villager the first villager of two different stacks so that is going to take a build to put him out there but that's pretty huge especially if you're using him as say the the graper that you have to wait for in the deck or maybe the clayman or all of the other decks that are in higher player counts that uh i think we've only seen once <laughs> mainly players uh two players uh, but yeah, the engineer that makes every symbol in a production chain count rather than the one that is just on top. Uh, loads of amazing special powers that yeah, just just with a, a few extra cards uh, can just open massive opportunities for you. The events that make emptying all of the other stacks as well as you know emptying the market stacks is uh, exciting and all of that and trying to measure when that's going to happen is uh, is a really fun part of the game now each stack has an event in it and there's uh, plenty of choice i think there's three different ones in the prototype that i have you see the campaign page for all the final stuff uh, but yeah plenty of variability in that and new opportunities as well that play into the the thing that played into in the market as well of do i empty this uh, do i empty do I pick one from the road, which is going to empty this market stack? Should I draft one from a stack instead to try and keep this going a little bit longer? That can go into the events as well. Do you really want to try and make the events happen? Because it's going to give you an extra build action. It's going to give you some uh, more cards from the reserve and you really need something. Or the, the one that we saw in the playthrough, the nobles that makes everyone have five gold on them. That's a pretty huge amount of points. Now, they might not be ideally the people that you want, but they could be discarded for basic villagers. Uh, they're, and they're going to stay out there as well if they're not drafted with a load of gold on them. So a really excellent set of opportunities and short and long-term goals that you can be watching out for when these things happen. The the clay deck as well, which I can't show you all of because it's kind of mixed in with the, the main deck. So this usually comes in at uh, higher player counts, but there is a way that you can put it in a two-player game, as I did in the playthrough, by taking out the grapes from the original game, which is another deck that works similarly. It's entirely separate. The basic card is in the main deck rather than being one that you can just discard cards to get. Uh, so the, the clay deck is... It's a little bit different. So you are losing a couple of cards from the grape deck that did interlink with you know, the glass blower from the ore deck and the cooper from the wood deck. Uh, so there's a they're, they're a little bit... It's, it's only one uh, type of worker that uh, is taken out from that because the clay deck because it's you know this expansion thing it's um 
it is entirely separate. So the the prerequisites for unlocking certain clay deck cards are other clay deck cards. So you bear that in mind, and you know they you have to find the clay man as well. But at the same time, there is there are more cards in the clay deck than there was in the grapes deck, and some of these can be really lucrative as well, especially if you end up with the uh, the ceramist. And there are a couple in the deck, I think, uh, where every single brick is worth two points. So if you've really gone into this, then it can be worth a ton of stuff. But again, it's just more and more stuff. And if you're playing at those higher play counts, it's all just mixed in together along with uh there's there's an extra card for there's one for the graper as well for the the extra decks in there so it all contributes to making the game a bit longer and yeah i, I just love everything that it's added it's another thing where i just think well maybe maybe we would switch between clay and grapes every now and then but in terms of the special villagers the events and all of that yeah i would always play with it the teams as well is a nice way of just having that freedom as well, especially if you've gotten to draft a load of cards and you've maybe got some extra cards in your hand that you're not too bothered about anymore. It's a way of, especially early on, getting that extra food or building symbol. You can only have one, but they can never be taken away from you if you're playing with uh, the interactive expansion. Yeah, just uh, just absolutely fantastic things. And I would like to now, we, we've played you know bits of the original in various combinations, we've been focusing on playing uh, with the new expansion turned on as well. But I'm really like kind of keen on you know, the the original expansion. Add promos and stuff. That's I don't think I've got promos. I've got the original set though from the the first Kickstarter expansion. The the scoundrels don't really interest me because uh, they're the ones that you can mess about with each other. But especially playing with developments where we compete every round for doing the most of these things and just adding more and more people in there, you can just keep adding to this and it doesn't add really any complexity. You might have to look up a card, but generally it's quite clear what they do in there. It's just more and more stuff. And one little thing that we thought about as much as uh, we loved villagers in the first place, kind of thought, especially just at two players, thought... It's uh, it, it's fantastic, but can maybe do with it going on a little bit longer. Which you know, it's it's always you'd rather play a game that you wished went on for longer rather than one that went on for too long. But uh, yeah, I, th I think that with the extra few cards in there, the extra turn or so that it's taking because you change the stacks as well. The st stack size are different to accommodate for to give you a bit more time. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, right in that sweet spot now, and yeah, it's it's just improved a game that I already loved. Absolutely fantastic. Again, maybe switch between the grapes and stuff, but generally I would keep everything in this. Who cares what I think, though? All the playthrough was there for you to see all of this new stuff in action, maybe in the future. I, I never did... Uh, I think I only did a prototype uh, playthrough for Villagers. I should do one at some point that's uh, solo with the Countess on. Anyway, that's all for all for the future. The playthrough is there for you to see whether or not you would be interested in villagers and all of the new stuff that's added. You can get all of it pretty much in the Kickstarter that is on now that you can see linked in the description. Thank you for watching this though, and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone.